so in the last section we have seen how to create a java project and how to create a class in it so in this section let's look it into some java basics so i request you to watch this section if you are not familiar with java earlier or if you have little bit java basics you can skip this section and start with the selenium web driver explanation okay so it's up to you if you want to go through some java basics then watch all the lectures in this section if not you can just skip the java basics fine so i just want to give you some brief overview on some java functions java methods wherever are required and necessary for our selenium automation okay i will be covering all the concepts which are required for selenium okay if you complete this section then that's it you are good to start with selenium and you need not worry about how much java it i need to start with selenium fine so those topics will be discussing here and also not limited to this section whenever we are talking about uh, selenium automation and when we come about some coding perspective even there i will give you a clear picture on the java looping programs or whatever it may be i'll be even discussing there as well so you will not feel any java related trouble in my entire course so that's the commitment i can give you from my side so okay so let's see some basic uh, hands on on java before we actually start let me create a new project again just for our java practice let's say practice click on finish class uh, basics one something like that so check this checkbox public static void main click on finish right so this is the first look you will be seeing whenever you created a class now so what are these keywords which are highlighting in some other color apart from this basics and main and what is this public static void main okay so basically these pink highlighted words are keywords of java so these are java keywords and you cannot use them in your method fine and here but this main whenever you start execution the control will start from this main method okay if you write some 100 lines of code here wherever you write in the entire editor the control will always start from the very first step in this main method okay so main method is something where the control and execution will begin so that's the reason we start writing our coding in this main block okay so public static void main is like heart of the java program so it interprets all your code whatever you write in the main if you write somewhere outside the main so java will not execute that now this is a class right so this is a class till here and this is a main block if you write something here the code will not get executed to get executed you have to write in this main block fine so as this, to summarize this control starts from the main method only and it is restricted to this main block fine so now what is class so class is the file where you actually write your code complete java program whatever it is it might be a selenium code or something else your java program you will be writing in class files so this is the class file and the name of this class is basics1 okay, something we have defined this class name right so that's the reason i'm saying public class basics1 i'll talk about this later what is public and all but for now i'm just making you familiar about the outer structure so we will be writing the code in this braces but execution will be restricted to this main block only fine then you might be getting doubt so why what we are writing here if everything is restricted to this block what is the necessary to write here so let's talk about that in the coming lectures you will get clear idea once we just dig into that and talk something on it 
but for now so i'm just giving overview on what is class and what is main method fine now i want to write something i'll start by first line of code if i want to print something in java in the output the method you need to use is system dot out dot print ln and the whatever you are thinking to print in the output you can give it here i started java learning okay so once the sentence is done you have to give semicolon for each and every step in the java you have to write semicolon at the end if you don't write it will throw an error okay so just make it a common practice whatever you write you have to give semicolon at the end if you need not give for the loops while loop for loop we'll see that later but for the steps you have to go with semicolon right let's run this program i have to see i started java learning in my console so this is the console window i have to see here in my output so right click just say run as java application and click on okay yeah you can see that i started java learning so if you want to print something in the output you can just go with system dot out dot print ln method and pass a text which you are willing to see in the output as an argument to this method that's it okay if you want to give some other text change it and run it again you will see that in the output fine so that's how you can print in the output and using something like to do auto generated method so all these are commented lines if you want to write something but you don't want java to touch that you can write it in comments by putting slash slash two slashes will treat the text as a comment for example uh, you are you might forget what this step does so you have to write something like this step prints in the output okay but if you just write this step it will throw an error it's not neither a command nor a method so how the java will treat that but you want to write some text for your understanding so in that case just put two slashes so java will treat this as a comment and it will not interpret and execute this sentence okay right so that's it so that's the first program about our java now you know where the control of execution starts from it starts in a, from the main block and we write our java code in the class files and you can print something in the output with a system dot out dot print ln method and you have to give semicolon at the end for each step or if you want to write the comments you can put slash slash and you can write your comment okay so that's it that's the simple a uh, basic about our first class basics one fine